What's going on stackers? So in this video I'm going to share with you how I sold 10,000 plus colouring books on KDP. So welcome back to Stacking Profit. My name's Paddy and over here we give you the tools and resources to learn, grow and master passive income streams so that you can live a life of freedom. Now like I said in this video I'm going to share with you how I sold 10,000 plus colouring books on KDP and share some tips on how I did this. So, I have recently passed a huge milestone within my low content book business. And I've sold 10,000 plus colouring books. Now, what I'm going to do is share some key points that helped me sell these 10,000 plus books. Now, the biggest factor to understand is that selling these 10,000 plus colouring books took time. This did not happen overnight, it actually took around 17 months and that's why patience is key. So if we come over to here and take a look at my whole account we can see I'm doing fairly well. I've sold 125,000, that was a little sale coming in there, 125,000 in royalties and if we scroll down to the bottom round about here we can see that I've actually sold 63,000 books. Now 10,000 of those books are from my colouring books and if we look here this one where I've sold 6,700 no 6,679 books and made close to $14,000 this is actually my best selling book of all time. And this is also one of my colouring books. Now, if we come over to here, I've actually pulled the pen name up by itself. We can see I've got 17 books and made $20,000 plus. And if we scroll down to here, we can see there's those 6,600 books and that's my best selling one. But altogether, I've actually sold 10,264 colouring books and again this took time. Now if we scroll back up to here let's go ahead and get into the good stuff and the reasons why you're probably watching this video. So now I'm going to share some of the key points that really helped me sell these 10,000 plus colouring books. So the first key point which I want to talk about and that is create books around what people are searching for. I see time and time again people just come up with an idea go and create that book and then wonder why they don't make sales. Well you need to create books around what people are searching for. Now this is pretty simple to do. You can use paid tools and or do this completely for free. So let me go ahead and show you how to do this for free. So first of all, you need a couple of free Chrome extensions and they're both by self-publishing titans. Now this one is the KDP niche research extension and the second one is the Amazon search suggestion expander and you need these both on. Now with these, you can start typing in keywords to see if people are actually searching for this. So let's type in coloring book for men. Now with this Chrome extension the expander is going to pull up all related keywords to that main keyword that you plugged in just here and there's only going to be keywords here if people are searching for them. So Amazon will only auto populate keywords if people are actually searching for them. So I've typed in coloring book for men. If we do that, this is the main results which Amazon has populated, but we can see there's a lot more keywords because again, this is what people are actually searching for. So if we look at this one, coloring book for men with dementia, 
So people are actually searching for this and Amazon's auto-populated it again because these are the keywords that people are searching. If you type in a keyword and nothing pops up, then that means there's no one searching in that niche. So if we do, let's take away men and put old men. So coloring book for old men. So nothing's auto-populating here because there's no one actually searching for coloring book for old men. So this is real. This is just a real simple way to see if there's demand. Now you can dive deeper into niches to see if they're high demand, low competition. There's a couple of ways that you can do that as well, again, using these free tools. So let's take away old men. We can see there's a lot more keywords, coloring book for mental health. That's what people are searching for. Now, let's go over to this tab because I typed in bad mood coloring book. Now, with that niche score, this is from this Chrome extension, we can see there's a pretty good score. Now, with the SPT Chrome extension, anything in between 50 and 60 is good. Anything above 60 is even better. But this tool is going to tell you if it's profitable. Now just because it tells you that it's profitable doesn't mean that your book's going to be profitable because there's still a lot of factors that go into play. You could find the best score here but then create a crap book and obviously you're not going to make sales. Now to figure out if it's high demand, low competition is very very simple. We look right here, look at this. So for bad mood colouring book there's only 370 result which means that this is low competition. Now to find out if it's high demand, you want to look through the first page at the BSRs. So right off the bat, this first one, this Bye Bye Bad Mood colouring book, has a BSR of 26. So that's telling me that this is high demand because that has a really good score. If we carry on going through these, we can take a look so that's not really bad mood, and that's an ad. So if we look at this one, A Little Book of Bad Moods. Not sure if that's a colouring book. That has 1.3 mil. So people aren't buying that, but then if we scroll down more, that's not really relevant because that's a stoner colouring book. But look at this. So yes, I have mood swings. So this has a rank of 84,000. Now with me, I try and find anything below 100,000, and I want multiple books on that first page under a hundred thousand because then that's telling me that it's low competition and high demand through the bsrs so that's one way to find what people are searching for and to find if a book's high demand low competition another way is by using helium 10. now helium 10 is one of my favorite tools out there for low content book publishing to do all of my research because they have some really great features now if you want to check out helium 10 we do have an offer down below so go through click it and take a look disclaimer it is an affiliate link so if you do decide to purchase i will make a small commission but with here within the magnet tool you can find high demand low competition keywords now when you're in here you want to go to tools and then magnet just here and you can start typing in your keywords for this is instance let's do an adult coloring book again no in fact let's just leave it like this so we're going to do an adult coloring book we're going to click get keywords i've done this search before so let's click a new search give that a second and then i want to filter through so we can see there's a lot of keywords so some of these aren't going to be relevant what i want to do is just type in coloring book here so that way any keywords that pop up down here are going to have coloring book in them. So it's going to filter out a lot of other keywords. Now, if we scroll down to here, let's just drag this along a little bit. But what I want to use is now the Magnet IQ score. This is essentially going to tell you if it's high demand, low competition. Now, if I click on this, it's going to filter it with the highest magnet IQ score. And then we can take a look. So right off the bat, we still have some unrelated keywords, so we're just going to miss them. But then we can take a look at others. So Angry Swearing Cat's Coloring Book. That IQ score is high, 
the search volume isn't massive, but if we look here, there's only 46 competing products. So this is low competition. So this is how you can do it using the magnet tool within Helium 10. So that's two different ways that you can go around finding keywords. And these keywords in here are also what people are searching for. So everything here we know people are searching for over on Amazon. So that's one of the top tips, creating books around what people are searching for. Another tip is that I treat LCB, low content books, like a business and not a hobby. Now, what I mean by this is that I don't just work on KDP when I feel like it. I have a routine that I stick to and I do this for long periods of time. Now, another tip well, this isn't a tip, but I already had experience. See, I already had experience with designing book covers because I already had a library of books that were designed by me. Now, if you're brand new to LCB, then do not start with colouring books. See, I didn't start consistently creating colouring books for over two years from when I first started publishing. If we come back over to here, for this pen name, I didn't start creating books till January 2021. Now, if we go back over to Lifetime, just here, we can see that I've been publishing since 2018. But if we go all the way along to round about here, this is when I really started creating colouring books. So again, I didn't actually start creating colouring books for a very long time, just so I could get that experience. Now, another tip is planning and preparation. See, I have been creating books on KDP now for a good few years, and I now have systems and processes that make everything easier. So come along and check out this video. What I'm going to do is link it right there in the right hand corner. If you click that little eye, which is on your screen, on your device in the right hand corner it's going to pull up the related videos that i've recommended so that's how you can go through and watch them because in this video i share my process that helps me save time by creating a master template for my coloring books so this is a must watch then check out this video as well because this is my time management video for running a low content book business. If you go through and watch this, in fact, I'm going to link that in the right hand corner as well. But if you come through and watch it, you can understand on how you can manage your time better to be more efficient within your own low content book publishing business. Now, as you can see, there's not just one thing that helped me sell these 10,000 plus coloring books. It's a number of things that have compounded on top of each other as the years have gone by. So here are some of the reasons. One of them, creating books around what people are searching for. This is a must. Then being as unique as I possibly can, understanding that everything takes time. And again, I already had experience with KDP. I also treat my business like a real business and not a hobby. And a lot of it comes down to planning and preparation. But the biggest part of it all is that I really enjoy creating coloring books. Now, everyone's journey will be different. I have been creating books on KDP now for a good few years, and I now have systems and processes that just makes everything easier. So just because I have made 20,000 plus from 17 coloring books does not mean that you will too. But if you start treating KDP like a real business, put in the work, create books around what people are searching for, and have fun in the process, then you have a much better chance of seeing success. So I hope you've got some real good key takeaways from all the tips that I shared within this video. But again, a lot of it comes down to treating my business like a real business and actually enjoying 
creating books as well. Now, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Also, go hit subscribe and hit that little bell icon so you can be notified for any further videos. That being said, I've been Paddy, this has been Stacking Profit, and I'll see you again soon.